if I put up on the screen that what my neurons are firing right now, every one of my neurons, you would go, I have no idea what he's thinking. Right. We don't know how to decode that. We don't that. know how to decode that. And this is the expertise of, 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 um, of the promise of AI, the promise of machine learning. It's incredible. To end on an optimistic note, if, if it all goes well, could you just humanize what you think the, the patient experience could be in 10 years' time if all of this comes the way that you, you hope it will? I see someone with treatment-resistant depression with a high data rate brain computer interface mm. that's able in real time to see what's working for them and what's not. They're trying out a new medication and instead of having to wait weeks or months before they switch, the neurologist says, uh, 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 we can see it already. This isn't gonna work, let's try something else. Um, they're trying, they're using their neural stimulator device, it's working, they see, oh, you know what, yoga is like super helpful for me. Uh, it turns out that this like weird diet that I tried from mm -hmm. Dr. Oz wasn't super helpful. <laughs> like being able to get real time feedback on some of these things, um, that's where I see David, you want to try to end? Oh, that's, close? yeah, I mean, okay, simple example, uh, which is very real. I would love for my next ALS patient to be struggling with their decision if they're even going to come to clinic. Maybe they won't need to come to clinic. Are they struggling with the decision to go which grandchild's birthday party or soccer game should they go to and enjoy it like any other grandparent or parent rather than should I disconnect my ventilator, you know? That, that's really literally the choice.